This is Mac and he's 26. And he's looking relatively healthy, but um, some viewers might notice that he's starting to show signs of his age. So he's got deepening of the hollows above his eyes. He's starting to get some gray hairs up around his head. But what I'm going to demonstrate is just that the signs of PPID can easily be mistaken for normal signs of aging. And it's certainly not the case that all animals with PPID will exhibit the full range of clinical signs that we've discussed. So we just use Mac to demonstrate that while owners of older horses and ponies frequently report that their animals will lose muscle tone or perhaps even lose muscle as we get older, in Mac, because of his PPID, this muscle loss is much more pronounced. So particularly along his neck, along his back and over his hindquarters. Um, he's also developing quite an obvious pot-bellied uh, appearance. And uh, some viewers might notice that he has some subtle hair coat changes. So his coat is um, slightly thicker and slightly longer than we would expect uh, for a summer coat. But we'll um, demonstrate the um, clinical signs of the, the coat changes uh, on another pony. A long curly hair coat that doesn't shed normally in the summer is one of the classic clinical signs of PPID. But actually that's relatively unusual in less than advanced cases. And what we'll tend to see much more commonly is more subtle hair coat abnormalities. This is Bertie and he's 22. And you can see that compared to Mac, he does certainly have more obvious hair coat abnormalities. Um, so his summer coat has these long, dull, coarse hairs within it. He's got a very thick coat, uh, given that it's, it's supposed to be his summer coat. He's also showing a uh, sign of patchy sweating. Now this may be to do with his excessively uh, long, thick hair coat, but we will see patchy sweating in cases of PPID, even with normal hair coat. He also has signs on his feet of these very prominent growth rings, which may be suggestive of previous episodes of laminitis. So we've already looked at Bertie, who's 22, with his abnormal hair coat. Um, but just to demonstrate that these sort of coat changes aren't just associated with normal ageing and do in fact represent a clinical sign of PPID, we've also got Steele, who's the same age as Bertie and has a completely normal, smooth summer coat for this time of year. As part of the fat redistribution, we sometimes see in cases of PPID, when people will talk about horses having obvious bulging fat pads above their eyes. But what we often see more commonly is that they'll develop um, extra fat laid down under their lower eyelid, giving them a puffy appearance to the lower eyelid.